Uh, June 30th, 1908. A mysterious explosion, a thousand times more powerful than the atomic bomb dropped on Hiroshima, devastates a remote region of Siberia. Trees are flattened, animals are incinerated, and shockwaves are felt halfway around the world. But what caused this apocalyptic blast? Was it an asteroid, a comet, or something even more mysterious? For the people living in Siberia that morning, June 30th seemed like any other day. But at exactly 7.17 a.m., the sky erupted into fire. Witnesses described a column of blue light streaking across the sky, followed by a blinding flash and a deafening explosion that shook the earth. The blast was so powerful that it flattened over 80 million trees across an area of more than 2,000 square kilometers, roughly the size of a major city. The energy released by the Tunguska event is estimated to be between 10 to 15 megatons of TNT. To put that into perspective, that's nearly 1,000 times more powerful than the atomic bomb dropped on Hiroshima in 1945. The shockwave was so intense that it was detected by seismographs as far away as England, and atmospheric pressure changes were recorded worldwide. Despite the massive destruction, something strange happened. When scientists finally reached the blast zone 19 years later, they found no impact crater. Instead, the trees had been flattened in a butterfly-shaped pattern, radiating outward from a central point. This meant only one thing, the object never actually hit the ground. Instead, it must have exploded in midair, several kilometers above the surface. Today, scientists believe that a 60 to 100 meter wide asteroid, or comet, entered Earth's atmosphere at a speed of about 27 kilometers per second, or 60,000 miles per hour. The intense pressure and friction caused the space rock to heat up rapidly until it exploded in an airburst about 6 to 10 kilometers, or 4 to 6 miles, above the ground. This theory explains why there was no crater, because the explosion happened before the asteroid could hit the Earth. It also explains why scientists found microscopic glass-like particles in the soil, which were formed by the intense heat. The frightening truth, yes, it could happen again. In fact, it almost did in 2013. In 2013, a 20-meter-wide meteor exploded over Chelyabinsk, Russia, with the force of 30 Hiroshima bombs. Luckily, it detonated high in the atmosphere, minimizing the damage. But imagine if something the size of the Tunguska asteroid hit a major city today. The Tunguska event was a wake-up call, reminding us that our planet is not immune to cosmic disasters. That's why space agencies like NASA and ESA are working tirelessly to detect and track potentially dangerous asteroids before they reach us. But not everyone believes it was just an asteroid. Over the years, alternative theories have emerged, some more bizarre than others. Some claim that Nikola Tesla accidentally triggered the explosion while testing a secret energy weapon. Others suggest it was a mini black hole passing through Earth, or even an alien spacecraft that self-destructed to avoid crashing. While these theories lack scientific evidence, they continue to fuel curiosity and speculation. But one thing is certain, the Tunguska event remains one of the greatest cosmic mysteries of our time. So, what can we learn from Tunguska? First, asteroids are a real threat and one day a large impact could happen again. But unlike 1908, we now have the technology to detect and even deflect incoming space rocks. With continued research and planetary defense strategies, we may one day prevent the next Tunguska-level disaster. But until then, we can only watch the skies and stay prepared. If you found this video fascinating, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more mind-blowing space content. Until next time, keep your eyes on the skies and stay curious.